Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the archive rollback command and how we can use it to recover from configuration errors when working on a device remotely. Archive rollback works by the user allocating time in which they want to complete configuration. If the user doesn't confirm the configuration has been completed within time period, for example the user disconnects, then a device will automatically roll back and revert the configuration. So this command can be extremely useful for a number of different scenarios, for example when configuring a Cisco device remotely without the need for the reload in command. Along with this it also provides a fast and easy way to revert configuration if something breaks in the process of configuring the device. So in the video I'm going to be showing you the different options we have whilst using the archive rollback command. Before we do that though, in order to use the archive rollback command we need to enable the archive feature on the device. So to enable the archive feature, we need to go into configuration mode and type in archive. Within here, we then need to specify a path for our files to be saved in. So in this instance, I'm going to use the flash and I'm going to specify a name of lab underscore r1. If we come out of configuration mode and run a show archive, you can see within here the archive feature is now enabled and that our files are going to be saved under flash. So, first things first, using the archive rollback command, we need to type in configure terminal revert timer, and after this, we need to specify a time for which we want to make the configuration changes. Once the timer has ended, if the configuration has not been saved, then the configuration will be wiped automatically. So, what I'll do is I'll specify a time of 1. You can see the device then confirms this and saves a copy of the running config to flash. So what I'll do is I'll change the host name so that we can see that the configuration is reverted if we don't save the configuration before the timer ends. And there we go, you can see now that the minute timer is eclipsed and that the host name has been changed back to lab underscore r1. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go back into configure terminal revert timer 1. This time I'll change the host name to change me please, and I'll also create a loopback interface. This time, however, let's say you're making configuration changes to the device, but you want to revert the changes immediately. What you can do is come out of configuration mode and type in configure revert now. What this will do is revert all the changes that you've made and it'll also show you the list of commands that it's going to be removing from the configuration as well. Okay, so if we go back into configure terminal revert timer again this time we'll specify a timer of 2. But let's say for example that we want more time to make our configuration changes this time. 2 minutes isn't going to be long enough. So what we need to do is if I do a show archive config rollback timer, you can see that at 4.27 a 2 minute timer was specified. So what we can do is we can type in configure revert timer 20. And then if we go back to show archive config rollback timer, you can see that now at 4.28, a 20 minute timer has been allocated. Okay, so last of all, if we go back into configure terminal revert timer again, and we'll specify a 10 minute timer, what I'll do is I'll change the host name to R1 and create a loopback interface. However, this time I'll keep the configuration changes that we've made. So if we come out of the configuration mode, all we need to do is type in configure confirm. You'll notice, however, there's no acknowledgement of the command. However, we can confirm that the timer is no longer running by running a show archive config rollback timer. 
One thing to note, however, is this won't save the configuration to the startup config. This must be done manually once the configuration has been committed. And there we have it. That's how we can use the archive rollback command on a Cisco device to automatically revert configuration when working on a device remotely. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.